app. Okay, classroom. Well, so. Teacher, Let's can see. you zoom in the picture? Because I can't I'm see. Trying. Yeah, of course, I'm trying. Just let me. Okay. <laughs> I can't see either. So <laughs> it's, it's too hard to see it. Okay. So, oh, how about now? It's better now. Can you see? Maybe, uh, yes, yes. Okay, so it's uh, the first one, trip false not given, and okay, we have sentence completion, so let's do this one together. So, first of all, as I told you, we need to read the questions. Of course, it's your choice, as I told you. If you want to read the questions first and then move to uh, text, original text, or no, first scan the text and then underline the keywords and questions. So it's your choice. I myself would rather read questions first and then check the text, but actually it's something related to you, up to you, not me. So, yeah. uh, the first one, okay. Do the following statement agree with the information given in reading patch 17 in boxes 1, 2, 6 and your answer sheet, write true, false, not given. So, first of all, Okay, 17 and 18th centuries, British competition. Okay, B4, cargo size was most important consideration for East India. Teacher, I, yes. I have a tip that can we, I, I just read uh, paragraph I and then I will answer all the questions that associated with I and then Why? I So you it. have it, okay, so let me, let me say, okay, let me understand what you said. You said what? It's like, um, first I will read paragraph I and I will try to answer all the questions that associated with A yeah. and then yeah, I will move course. to B and I do the same. Yeah, as I told you before, because, you know, in this part, in true, false, not given, the answers are in order, you can do it. But for example, in matching heading, you can't do the same thing because the answers are not in order. But yeah, for true, false, not given, that's great. So first you read the first paragraph and after that, if you can find the answer, perfect. If no, you can move on to the second paragraph and of course, one by one, you can read them. So it's a good way, okay, but, but it's your choice. So let's read, okay, so let's read, yeah. Why why we can do it, uh, like we, why we can do this way to um, another task? why we can't do ah for uh, let me say something about uh different questions in reading so we have different types of questions sentence complete of course in reading section we have sentence completion we have true false not given we have matching heading okay normally the answers are in order it means if you can find the answer in paragraph one definitely the actually second answer is in the next paragraph, but in matching heading, the answers are not in order. Maybe the answer for the first question can actually can be found in paragraph three and the second one in paragraph one. So they are disordered, not in order. So because of this, I say that for matching heading, you need to read actually all the progress one by one in order to match the headings, okay, the titles. But yeah. for true, false, not given, because the answers are in order, yeah, it's easy and you can read the first one after that if you can find perfect. If no, yeah. let's yeah. keep going with the second one. Okay, now let's do so. But uh, actually the reason, you know, uh, that I say it's good to read the questions first, it's something like it makes you a bit faster. What? Yes. Because I can see the keywords here 
And after that, I look my eyes, look for these keywords in the text. So it makes me a bit more quickly and faster. So, and don't forget about before, after, most, okay, because they are distractors, as I told you. Well, yes. yeah, okay. Highly. After. Okay. Commercial. Okay. So, let's read. Okay. Paragraph one. Could you read it, please? Mm, right here. During the 17th and 18th centuries, the British East India Company had, had the mon monopoly on trade with China and India. This means that because no rival could legal, legally import tea or other goods from these countries at this time, the company were rarely in a hurry to transport its merchandise. Instead, to its priority was to minimize cost by carrying as much as possible on each ship. This means that its ships, known as East India men, were enormous, strong and very slow. Yeah, so about the first one. So competition, the first thing, because of this I told you, competition and I could find rival, so I could find the words here, just if I can see it better, okay, uh, there were monopoly on the trade with, and so there were no rival, no competition, no competitor, so true or false? Uh, um. False. Okay. False, of course. So you Teacher, see, yeah. What is the phrase "face a lot of competition" mean? Let me say. Let me say. Okay. Uh, first of all, first of all, let's talk about this. Face a lot of competition. It means there were lots of competitors. For example, different companies that competed. You know, so for example, this company and another company, they did the same thing. For example, all them exported tea. So they were like, comp like something like rivals, like competitors, okay? So, and they faced a lot of competition. It means there were different companies that competed, used to compete, okay? So this is, and here we have rival. Rival means competitor. So when there is no rival, it means there is no rivalry. When there is no rivalry, it means there is no competition. Like, you know, a race, you know, between two company, two organization, which one is better? Which one do, actually does the best? And this word merchandise means good. Okay, just pay attention. And monopoly, it's actually another word that you need to know. Monopoly. When actually an organization or company is monopoly, it means it's a unique one, just one organization or one company, and there is no rivalry, there is no competitor. For example, Amazon. Do we have a rival or a competitor for Amazon? No. Amazon is the one. Yes. Google, one. Just one, they actually, they sell or they produce a unique product or service, just one, and there is no competitor because they are the best. They control the market. They are monopoly. So for example, like uh, another one, if I can find something like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, so they were monopolies. You know, there was no rivalry with them. Get it? Yes. Okay, um, now oh, so we could yeah, find yeah. Another question is like, uh, why they say that a lot of competition, but no s, competition with ours. What I couldn't get what you mean. It's like in a sentence they say yeah. that faced a lot of competition, but yeah. competitions no no s. Okay, so here, you mean why in question we have faced a lot of competition, but in original text we have no rival, yeah? 
No, I mean like why the the word competition don't. Oh, it's accountable. Ah, oh, you mean why competitions? Because it's an accountable competition. Yeah. yeah. It's uncountable. Okay. B for 1800. Cargo size. Cargo means sending products and goods. Size was the most important consideration. Size. B for, uh, okay, for the East India Company. So B for, first of all, by 1800. Okay, because we need to find this actually anchor word. It's important to find. Okay, now tell me. Do I need to read the paragraph B? So you can read one or B. Just tell me which one can include the answer. Uh, par paragraph B. Yeah. OK, is it true or false? Just tell me, is it true or false? Um, um, I think that not given. So why not given? Because I, I can fight. Okay, higher. let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so. Uh, this one. Instead, it's priority wise to minimize cost, but carrying as much as possible cargo size carrying as much as possible on each ship. This means that its ship known as East, okay, India member, enormous, strong and very slow. B for 1800, by 1800, okay, the average East India man could carry a hunt, okay, so you can, 1,200 tons of merchandise of goods. So here, by refers to this one. By means before, before 1800. Cargo size, the amount of goods, then actually the number and amount of goods actually were carried by ships were really was really important because they needed to minimize costs. So the most important priority, yeah, okay. what do you think? Um, no, no, no. True or false or not given? Check it again. I think that's true. Okay. Yes. Number three. So, at best, oh, yes. okay, voyages of the East India men to China and back took nearly two years to complete. Okay, so let's see the journey. How long? The journey. The journey. Uh, How long does it take or what? Yeah. Is it? So, yeah, at best, um, the best situation, the journey of the East India uh, to China and back took nearly two true. years to complete. Okay, it's true. How did you find it? So just tell me where, where to find it. What where? It's like line. Where? Which line? Uh, yeah, um, line number. 
No, number, number. Number five in paragraph B. OK, so. Yeah. Arrive back by following September. So even with favorable sailing conditions, the round trip lasted almost, almost two years. OK, very good. So round the trip, go and back. Yeah, good job. And in the best, at best, favorable sailing condition. It means at best. Yes, yeah, true. Number four. Before 1834 voyages to and from China were considered to be highly dangerous. OK. But teacher, can yeah. you spell the word verse? I don't, I don't know. Voyage? No, ver. Ver. Ver? Yes, I I don't know because you have just say which ver. Just, just I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you mean. Where you mean where, place? No, because you just asked me where where can I find okay, uh, where, okay, so where to find it means which paragraph, which line, where, where? Where ah yes, yeah, I have of course. I, I have <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, why is that okay? So let's see. Oh, it's really difficult. I can't see. <laughs> it's irritating. Oh, I can't see. Well, so okay. Uh, B for eighteen thirty four. Okay, so we need to find eighteen thirty four. So by B for I could find it. Now let's see. Okay, and lots of trading monopolies and to become a freely traded. Okay, so. Tell me which one. Probably from I think not given. Good job. No OK. Yeah. After 1834, the ships which had served the East India Company stopped being used for commercial purposes. OK, commercial and after. OK, 1834, just try to find it. And then. Uh, it's false. Okay, why false? Which one? Which word? Uh, the last line. The yes. A few smart sailors began yeah. to realize that oh, whoever yeah. brought each new harvest of tea to Britain first stood to make the most money. So what? Why? So, OK, so what is the relation with commercial purpose? Because when some smart sailors, um, that's they bring the harvest of tea to Britain, they can make money. So it's also the commercial purpose. Yeah, OK, so uh, just let me tell you, OK, let's talk about the meaning of commercial purpose. I want you to show me the word that actually is the paraphrase of commercial purpose. Come on. Paraphrase from the paragraph? Of course. Of, of course. Of course. The paragraph. Commercial purpose. Uh, 
I think gray ships. Yeah. Gray ships. So I'm not sure about it. So again. Oh. I think stood. No, stood is the past form of stand. Uh. So the first thing that you yeah, you're right, but you need to pay attention. Trading monopoly. Trading means commercial. Uh, so you need to pay attention. OK, yeah. so after just now, let's OK, let's see what happened. So however, by 1834, the company had lost its trading monopolies and tea had become a freely traded item. So it was and having no more actually something like uh, no more use for its great ship, the company sold them off. And many were bought actually by merchandise of or their uh, captains who continue to plot the sea between Britain and China. But now the sea could be traded freely. A few smart sailors began to realize that who overbrought actually each new harvest of tea to Britain first to, to make the most money. So here, OK, but after the ships which had served the East India Company stopped being used for commercial purpose. OK, just tell me about after 1834. Is it right? So you say this is true or false or not given? Yeah, I, I say that it's true. Yeah, OK, so if you consider after so because you know by means before and before yeah. it had lost its trading monopoly so actually there was no need okay for it and your company sold lots of ships off so something like this because there was no need in the 19th century 19 let's find it first of all okay oh i can't see it's really hard to see it Teacher, can you zoom it? Because I can zoom on I'm my trying, laptop. I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's a bit hard. Just let me try because, uh, okay. It's a bit, okay, here. Yes. Now it's better, okay. Okay, in the 19th century, 19, I'm gonna find it. OK, 19th century. So and 19th century British British drinkers prefer to make tea from mature leaves to made from younger leaves. OK, younger mature leaf. OK, British. So try to find them. 19th century. Britain, OK, so let's see. OK. But well, teacher, mm, but number five, is it true or false? Yeah, as you said, it's true. You can consider but, it. Yeah. But um, I think that the, the answer is about before. 1834 oh, as you well. know look by 1834 company had lost its trading and tea had become a freely traded item so having no more use for its great ships the company sold after you know uh, because this yeah. is past perfect okay and after that yeah they yeah. sold okay and now here so this was because if you were first, you could sell. OK, here. So they believed, OK, prefer to make from mature, mature means mature, you know, something not fresh. Old leaves, mature, OK, to make from younger leaves. But here, so let's see. And probably because six consumers in Britain in the 19th century believed that the fresher and earlier pick the tea, the better resulting resulting the drink. So true or false? 
False. Of course, false. Because yeah. you know, ha yeah, we have to paraphrase. They believe that Press the fresher and the earlier pick the tea, the better. Okay, so now the second one, complete the notes. No, okay, one word only, no more than one word. Okay, and let's uh, write it. The ships. Okay. We're first used for trading of American merchants. So let's see. American, you need to find it. Okay. In fact. Yes. So, yeah, American. So I could find it. Okay. Who pioneered the first clipper ships. Okay. In fact, it was the American. So were first used for trading by American, okay, so, and the ships were remarkable for the number of... The ships were remarkable for... for uh, uh, of sales. So, what? Which line could you find it? In the second line. Okay, so in fact, so these vessels were fast and slender with a narrow hole that was deeper at back than at front and masses of cells on tall mass. So the ships were remarkable for the number of cells. Yeah, okay, you sells. And but, the set, yeah, so what? I just, I not absolutely understand why it sells here. Okay, so how to say, so why did you say sell? Because um, I just like, I see the same, I see the same phrase here. It's like the um, paraphrase of the number. I, I see the muscles. Okay, so what is the so when you don't you just guess? Okay, you just guess and here. Okay, well, uh, when we say um, mass, okay, just there is something here. Let's pay attention. You know. That is really important, the difference between mass and masses. So because, you know, they have different meaning. When yeah. we say mass means large quantity or number of something. OK, and the second one, if we say masses, OK, just I want to just uh, I'm not talking about this word. I want you to know the meaning of this, too. OK, when we say masses, it's something like the ordinary people or common people. So it's something like slang. OK, so you can say, uh, for example, the masses or everybody else. So here, let's see what it means. OK, if it makes sense or no. So here, as you can see. Remarkable. You need to find a synonym or, or paraphrase for remarkable. What it means? Can you find it or no? And if you don't know the meaning of remarkable, it means worthy. Worthy. Or something like, yeah, of course. Noticeable, worthy, like this, remarkable. So let's see what, and sometimes that is excellent, maybe. So let's see. I think that I can see the paraphrase that um, with a narrow hole that was deeper at the back than at the front. Okay. It's a paraphrase of remarkable. Okay, so and so the, the next of it. Uh, and, yes. ma okay. and masses. Yeah. Of, 
on tall masts. Of course, tall pole, okay, actually uh, on a boat or ship, we have a, uh, something like a pole, okay, to support its sails, okay? So, which one here we can say? Let's see if it makes sense or no. Yes. At the front, and masses of sails on the tall mast, so a large number. They earn their name from the way that they clip of journey time. British merchants resolved to build their own clippers to rival the American and the first Britain tea clipper. Okay, so we could find, we could find the number of sales like on tall mass. You know, they had, they had yeah. many. Yeah, large number. OK, here the performance of British tea clippers was particularly affected when they were at tea at sea. I'm sorry, I guess it's you. OK, so what affect? When were when the when the yes yeah, storm storm of course you know yeah, yeah of course yeah then you know make them less powerful okay and the races so let's see it was in a ship called at uh, the British first competed successfully against the Americans so Americans British ships successfully competition. So competition, British, American. So a great spread. So what was that? Hmm. What can I call? I think uh, Re Richard Green. No, no, oh, 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 no, no, no. The ship name, Richard Green built this ship. Okay, so uh, Richard is the person. Yeah. So, yeah. So let me, yeah, of course. Just, just one word, challenger, of course. Very good. And as you can see, with the stated intention of beating the America, American ship, so beat, defeat, so you know this one. Okay, and oh, just let me. What's the show? <laughs> Why, I what? can't see anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So see, say. It's like, why can we write clippers instead of challenger? Oh, clippers. Why should we write? You want to write the name of it. So why you say that I need to write clipper? What? Because. Uh, they say that the apple named. No, it's something Chad like no, no, it's you know, let me show you. Let me show you. OK, there was a great spread of competition between the British and American ships playing the tea trade. OK, but to begin with, the American had the edge. It means they were better, had the edge. Then yep. in 1851, a British ship owner, Richard Green, built okay, a ship named Clipper Challenge. But there is a something like this. Okay, here we need one word, just one word. Okay, and Clipper is used for all ships. Okay, Clipper Challenger, ah. Clipper Americas. Okay, so here we need, yeah. yeah. Is it like clipper? It's just a type of, of ship. Of course, of course, it's different. It's something like clipper. Okay, one that clips something, clip the sea. So clipper is different. Okay, name is challenger. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, and the next one. Oh, so competition increase when additional Chinese trading. Okay, Chinese trading were established. So let's see, Chinese, we need to find China. Okay, the word China, if I can find it. Oh, I can see. Let I have you, yes. Uh, 
I think line line number three. Yes, this is yeah, this one. Good one. Yeah, so let's see. It was really okay. It was a new spur, a new price were pulled up for trade. Okay, I think let me put this here so that I can see. Okay, trade in China. Okay, so what happened? Stop, but without the yeah. robbery, the competitive spread continue. It was really okay. Made it when the new ports were pwned up. Okay, these included. So just let's check the question again. Okay, competition increased when additional Chinese trading. Trading tea. What? Trading tea. Okay, let's see the included. Okay, which was the closer? Okay, trading T, you mean? Yes. So what? Where did you? Where do you find it? Line number three. Okay, so. Yeah, which was much closer to tea producing area than okay Canton the port used previously. As a result, he could be loaded early fresher and clippers could set off in late may or clear june early june sometime not even taking okay so and whatever difficulties so here you say that competition increase trading t were established yeah of course you can say you can say something like this and the next one would you read it please because i can't read it anymore yes Thank Let you. The, they sped down through the South China Sea and into the India Ocean, then raced to get around the southernmost southern mouth of Africa at the Cape of Good Hope. Then it was now across the vast Atlantic, past the Azores. How, how to pronounce this word, teacher? Yeah, okay. So past, which one? Uh, past the Oh, this a one here. No, no. Oh. Uh, the spell is A A yes O R E S. D O. I can't I see what. A yes. Let me o let me read. Let me read because I don't know. Okay, so I don't know what you say. So let me see this one. A H. Yeah. The sped yeah. down through the South China Sea and into the Indian Ocean. Okay, then race to get round the southernmost trip of Africa at the Cape of Good Hope, then it was north across the west, Atlantic yes, past, 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 yeah? Yes, this work, this work. Yeah, past. west. Past okay. the Azure, okay, this one. Azores through the English Channel and into the estuary of the river, Th actually Thames, and once there, they would be towed by tugs up the river and into the docks. Oh, I can see, I really can see. Okay, so. Azeroth. Yeah. Uh, Azeroth. This word is Azeroth. Yeah, of course. Just this is that name. Okay, and let's Azeroth. see what is yeah. Uh, yeah. Much. Because all the social really fail to complete the. Uh, so, past the Azure through English Channel into the history of the River Thames. So, let's see. Oh, let me put this one here so that I can see it. Okay. So, again, the keyword. We're occasionally in such a hurry that they fail to compete. The, the what? The? Okay, before leaving China. So let's find, you need to find hurry, failed. Okay, so the race to get around the southern, okay, true. Okay, give up good hope. There was no across the west. Okay, so. Let's go through this. Just try to find the word. I think that's uh, sorry, or maybe paraphrase of it. Yeah. 
as fast as possible required the road to be totally dedicated into the sacrifice much of the rest for the duration of the race. Complete the what? But, so let's but read. This, yeah, what? I I think that we we are in paragraph H. Oh, so let's read it. Okay, which word? I want to know which one did you find? I, but I can can find any of them. Okay, so so, uh, speed down. Of course, this is the past form. Speed down through the South China Sea and into the Indian Ocean. Then race to get round the south, actually southernmost strip of Africa and the Cape of Good Hope. Yeah. So what? And then it was north across the West Atlantic, past the Azure through the English Channel and into the okay history of the River Thames. So what? Which one you say? I can find any work in paragraph H. Such a hurry. You need to find this one. Such a hurry. Merchants, I want you to find it. I think S3. No. S3. Race to get around. No. Race, I think, race. Mm. No. Oh. Sped down. Yeah. Ah, yes, sped down. No. 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 Oh. Mm. Would be top told. What? Would be told by Turks. So about this one, about paragraph H, okay, as you can see, just let's have a look at this one. Okay, so first of all, you need to find. So if you can find the words or no, okay, so. And, uh, you know, in paragraph H, so uh, do, do you have something related to hurry or, for example, for example, fail? Do you have something like this? No. So why? So how could you find the answer? I, I, I don't know. OK, so let's you need to actually find just just I want to say the answer, but I want you to pay more attention. Just yeah. try to find it. Try it. in paragraph H. Yes. Uh, So what? Never. Yeah. They couldn't complete what? Race. The it race. was race. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Let me put this here. Okay. Sometimes, OK, sometimes they let just let me explain some words here because you need to know. OK, here, just if I can find it. OK, OK, first of all, here. 
OK, you need to know the meaning of these words because they're essential and you need to know. OK, so. OK, and uh, they would be told by talks of the river. So uh, let's talk about this word that means tow by talk. OK, it means to pull. OK. So it's something like, yeah, of course, to pull talk. OK, so this is the meaning of to pull, to tow by talk means to pull talk. OK, so this is the first one. And you know when, for example, you pull something quickly by force, you know, it's pull talk. OK, so this is the first one. And after that, we have something like you need to, as uh, I told you before, they uh, when we say sped down, OK, up and down. So what is the meaning of sped down? Can you guess? It's like uh, they decrease significantly. Reduce, of course. No, speed up, increase, speed down, decrease. I, I, I said decrease, yes. Decrease. Oh, I'm sorry, I heard increase because of this. So. First, first of all, you need to, as I told you, that is really important, especially in this part, it's really important to find uh, something like paraphrase and synonyms, okay? So they were really delighted, they were really happy, and they're proud of their ships, okay? And they actually, there was something like a race among ships and ship owners, okay? And uh, yeah, something like the cargo of the winning ship could earn a premium of up to uh, per pound. And so captain and crew were really actually crowded by owner, uh, owners of the cargo. So that's really something it's not related to this question. OK, so without your enthusiasm, the race would never have happened since getting the ship home as fast as possible required crew to be totally dedicated and sacrifice much of the rest for the rich so here much of the rest for the duration of the race so you can find the answer here not in paragraph h okay and now if you read just let me say something. Sometimes you can't find the answer. I say you get really confused. You say, OK, I couldn't find the answer. Don't waste your time. Just pass it. Read the next one. Once you can find the, the answer of the second one, of course, the previous one is B for it. So here, for example, I'm going to show you something. OK, so here. Uh, at the end of their journey, the ships needed help of. Of what help? At the end need, of. At the end of journey. Uh, and enthusiasm. No. No, enthusiasm. Means the state of being enthusiastic, interested in something. Enthusiasm. The crew. The head okay. of crew. Without their enthusiasm. Okay, so. Wh who crew yes okay let's see okay at the end of the journey the ships needed the help of so we say crews or why you don't say for example expert sailors expert sailor why don't you say yeah i don't say that you're actually your answer is false just i want to know why you give this answer Because um, expert sailor just brought up the ships and it don't talk about that uh, they have their ship to the like 
to end the journey. So, of course, yeah, it's something like, yeah, as you said, at the end of the journey, the ship. So I want you to show me something that is the paraphrase of the end of journey. Uh, dress for the duration of the race. What? Like the, um, I think the paraphrase is the dress for the duration of the race. To rest for the duration of the race. I'm not sure about it. Oh, what happened? <laughs> no. Oh. Look. Okay. So. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, the cargo of the winning skip, uh, uh, ship should earn a premium of up to six pence per pound. And so, captain and crew were rewarded by the owners of the cargo. Okay, but the races were about more than just money, the crews. But 40 men on each clipper were expert sailors proud of their ships and they delighted in competing against each other. Without their enthusiasm, okay, enthusiasm. enthusiasm. The races would never have happened since getting the ship home as fast as possible required crew to be totally, yeah, here, crew, to be totally, crew, to be totally dedicated and to sacrifice much of the rest for duration of the race, crew. And the crews were motivated but, by uh, both, yeah, crew, crew. Uh, but, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, I, I, I know, but uh, what is the paraphrase of at the end of the of the as journey? I told you, as I told you, would never have happened since getting the ship home as fast as possible required crew need crew uh, to be totally dedicated and sacrifice much of the rest yes, for okay. the duration. So, OK, so the crew were motivated by both and their enthusiasm for the competition, both what and enthusiasm. Yes. What? Mm, report. Report. The the rest. Yeah. No. Money. Money. So, of course, so money well, first, but not just money. So here, but the races were about, you know, uh, were about more than just money, the crews. So about 40 men and, you know, without your enthusiasm, the race would never happen since getting the ship home as fast as possible required the crew to be totally, okay, dedicated and sacrificed to give much of the rest for duration of the rest. So motivated by money and enthusiasm. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, so it was really hard to see, but we could. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. But <laughs> it was yes. really hard to see it. Yeah, really. I got blind. Okay. Huh. Oh, no. Okay. No, oh, it's no. okay. Well, so let me close this one. Okay. And we don't need it anymore. Uh, can I can have a question. One more question. It's like, um, can can we use the word sp uh, speed down in the 
writing test one. Oh no, no, it's as if yeah, it's different. It's different. No, the reduce speed down, reduce the speed of something, not reduce. Uh, speed uh, up, increase the real. Yeah, of course, it's different from increase and decrease. Increase or decrease, uh, actually, the speed of something. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, so and now. So let's keep going. OK, let me see what we have. OK, so again, reading or writing. So it's your choice. Maybe writing. Yeah, no, no, reading. <laughs> OK, why? OK, so let me find something to read together. OK. <clears throat> Well, I think <sighs> OK. Just wait a moment. I need to do something. OK, well, so let me find a good question. Reading. OK. OK, so let's read. So, okay, just let me find a good. Okay, population. Okay, so let me see. Food, mental and ah, uh, mental and physical well-being. So it can be a good sample. So let's do this one. If I can share it. Okay, just wait a moment. Okay. Let me share my screen. I think this one. Let's do this one together. Yes. OK. So. OK, so a list of heading. So this one. The reading passage has six sections, A to F. Choose the correct reading, uh, heading for each section from the list of headings below. Write the correct number, OK, from the first to eight next to each section in the list below. So note, there are more headings than sections, so not all the headings will be needed. So let's read. For matching heading, that's the easiest, maybe the easy part is that uh, you can read the beginning at the end of and the end of your uh, actually paragraph so that you can normally you can find the main idea of the text at the beginning and the end of paragraph. So let's do this one together. First of all, as I told you, we need to underline the keywords. How yes. helping others can improve mental helping mental. Evidence, social interaction, improve mental, physical. Recommendation, uh, active in, in the nature and positive effect, place of worship and belief in higher power. Benefits, mental or physical activity. Value, learning and uh, importance, regular routine, community, and reaching middle age. OK, so let's read section A. So let's read A. Let's find it. Um, do I need to read out loud? Of course, it's your choice if you want. Just let me. Okay, uh, no, one. Okay. no one is immune, immune. Immune system. Immune. immune. No one is immune to developing chronic illnesses such as heart disease, cancer, or what arthritis as they get older. But research shows social activities like joining clubs, interest groups, or volunteering are linked to better mental and physical health and a longer lifespan. Our own recent research found that the more that people particip 
participated in social activities, the less risk they had of developing or accum what, accumulating. Accumulating, yeah. Ac accumulating chronic yeah. conditions. We looked at people aged 50 and older from 12 European countries over a five year period of study how volunteering education, joining a club or being involved in religious or political groups impacted their livelihood or developing major chronic illnesses. Yeah, okay. So first of all, now we read this word. Okay, so uh, let's read the beginning. No one is immune to developing chronic illnesses such as a heart disease, cancer, or illnesses as they get older, but research shows social activities like joining clubs, interest groups, or volunteering, volunteering, so intent, actually interest groups, something like, or volunteering, or joining clubs, so let's go back, which one can be just, which one do you think? Like mm -hmm. social activities. Let, let's have a look. As I told you, look. Interest, this one. Oh, teacher. Social Did activities. You, yeah. We have another paragraph under. Below. Yeah, of course. Just, I, I, you don't need, as I told you before, for matching heading, I'm going to show you it. Like, it's a trick. I okay. guess. Yeah. As I told you before, in matching heading, you normally can find the main idea of the text at the beginning or the end. So if you couldn't find at the beginning, you check the end of it. So here, I just, okay, we just read social interaction enhance mental, physical. So I could see this here, social activities like joining clubs, interest groups, or volunteering are linked to better mental, enhance better mental and physical health. So what do you think? Which one can be? So, A. Again, the, the headings. Of course, so A should be matched. The second one, right? Oh, happy. No. You want to check? It? Yeah. Yes. Check it, again. check it again. Look. Yes. Try to match. Research evidence research uh, okay. shows evidence social activities, social interactions or activities like this and this are linked to better mental and physical health. Now let's scroll up evidence that social interactions interaction means having relation. OK, enhances improves both mental and physical health. Agree? Yes. Good. But teacher. Yeah. I can see that um, letter V is a uh, five. Yes, five. The benefits of having a mental or physical activity to focus on also maybe. Let's see. No, the benefits of having mental or physical activity. It's not related to physical or mental activity. It's about social activities. And there is nothing about benefits of social. You know, it's something like mental lack. Uh, the benefits of having a mental or physical. So what will happen if we have mental or physical activity? Uh, but, yeah. yeah, here it's social activities can improve our mental and physical health. Okay. Number two, let's read. Okay, paragraph B. Let's read. Taking time to be inspired 
by new things is good for our health. Studies show that people who read books live longer and bilingual people have better cognitive health. Pursuing new knowledge or learning new skills is now is no is no to promote well being and memory function. Activities like attending an art or music class are associated with enhanced brain health as they improve the communication between different brain regions. They can also improve psychological well, resi resilience. Resilience. Yeah. Okay. Uh, psych psychological re resilience, meaning region. that they can... Region, okay, so brain regions. They can also improve psychological, okay. Relations, meaning that they can improve people's ability to cope, the meaning of this, okay? Yes. And? People who have made a habit of learning throughout their lifetime generally have better physical and mental health, including reduced, re reduced risk of for, health, for heart diseases and obesity, healthier habits such as good nutrition, exercise and not smoking, better well-being and cognition, and a stronger sense of purpose in life. Wow. So, let's see which one. Uh, uh, let's see. Just let me about the first one. OK, so just. Studies just underline the keyword read books. OK, bilingual. OK, cognitive help. So knowledge, learning. Let's go. OK, check and tell me which one. Uh, I think the value of learning something new. Good job. You see, yeah. that's really easy. <laughs> OK, the next one. See, let's read. Research shows joining a handball or football team has mon has multiple multiple health benefits such as lower blood pressure, better heart rate, lower fat mass, and muscular skeletal fitness. People are also more motivated and have better well-being. Even less common activities like rock climbing reportedly ward off symptoms of depression, while hiking is so to promote emotional health, creativity, a sharp mind and healthier relationships. This might be because living in the moment can be a healthy distraction from stress and worries. Physical activity might let someone experience flow, the state of being completely absorbed, focused and involved in something. During flow, people typically report deep enjoyment, creativity and happiness. Even so, okay, just just don't need it. Okay, let's check. Just let's underline. Okay, so it's about. Let's have a look. Which one can you guess? Then you can check it if you're right or no. So which one? Which one you think? Can I bring it? Read again. Of course. of course, just just you know, look. Okay, research shows joining a handle of football team has multiple health benefits. Benefits. Yeah, I know. Yes. As, okay. I I so I know that. let's people are also are also more motivated and better well being. So mental. Okay. So even less common activities like rock climbing reportedly worried of symptoms of depression so it's about it's about um, the, the the benefits of having a mental or physical activity to focus on perfect yeah 
that's it. OK, the yes. next one. And D. The old saying that it's better to give than to receive may be true. Research shows that spending time for volunteering is associated with enhanced mental health, higher physical activity, fewer functional limitations, and lower risk of mortality. Okay. So, look, the old saying that it's better to give than to receive might be true. Research shows that spending time volunteering associated with enhanced mental volunteering. Let's see which one. Uh, boom, boom. Let's see. And then if you don't, let's check yes. it again. Let me help you. Look. Look. Weekly volunteers actually are twice likely to have optimal mental health compared to non volunteer Volunteer means a person who is ready to help people without earning money, without getting money. So kindness. So connect with others, as you can see. And yes. Benefits mental health by providing a sense of meaning and purpose. So here, okay, let's see what we have here. Which one can be? I think community involvement before reaching middle age. No, it's not related to middle age. Nothing related to middle age. I told you just try to find the keywords. Volunteering means helping people without getting money. Uh, Doing so. How, how helping others can improve mental well-being. That's it, of course. And now you can check it again. Let's let me show you. Okay. Research shows that spending time volunteering is associated with enhanced mental health improve higher physical activity, fear, functional limitation, and low risk of mortality. Okay, we have previously shown that weekly volunteers are twice as likely to have optimal mental health compared to non-volunteers. Okay, so, and other researchers have reported similar links to act of kindness in general, helping people and benefits mental health by providing a sense of meaning and purpose, improving competence, so something like this. Self-esteem, okay? Yes. And the next one, oh, E. E, being yeah. able to, con to contribute, to, to contribute to one's, one's community is also key to mental health. This is, because humans have an intrinsic need to support, be connected with a community and have a role to play in it. One way to do that is through political or civic group activity. OK, before reading the rest of it, let's see if you can find it or no. Just yeah. let's underline the keyword contribute community. OK, mental health. Again, we have community, so let's see which one can be. I think I see that just uh, community community involvement before reaching of middle course, age. Of course, for reaching middle age, and now let's check it. Okay, first, okay, you can check, you can find the answer, then you can check it. Okay, now uh, let me let me be sure if it, if I'm right or no. So let's check it. Okay, so yeah. I associated with better physical and mental health and well-being, age 33. So as you can see, age 33 is middle age. So that is an at age 50. So as you can see, we have involvement at okay again we have 
paraphrase of middle-aged, like 50, okay? And yes. the next one, the last one, okay. A large volume. A, a large volume of research shows that re religion is spiritual, spirituality. Spirituality or in general. Uh, um, and spir spirituality. Spiritual spirituality. Yeah, spirituality, of course. Spirituality or uh, in general. Beneficial to mental health. This mental health benefits positively impact physical health and decrease the risk of disease by improving immune function and lowering the stress response. Let's see. Okay. Now let's check. Of course, we know the answer because you know just one left. Now, worship, religion, belief in yeah. higher power. So, of course positive effect so this is the answer so you see actually this is a method you know it's a method that we normally you know experience says that normally in matching heading questions you can find the answer at the beginning or the end of paragraph because they normally experts and state the main idea of the text at the beginning if yeah. no we have a summary at the end that you can find the main, main idea in it. So this is all about matching heading. Okay, well, so any questions related to this part? I think it's very clear now. That's great, very good. Well, so uh, let me check everything and let me stop sharing because we don't need it anymore. Okay, well, OK, it's time to go because I need to uh, hold another class. So sorry, because, you know, I have another class after you, so I need to go. So <laughs> I took five minutes from my another class. So uh, she's waiting. So I need to go now. OK, thank you. It goodbye. was really good time with you and goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.